Hey, it's Matt from MatthewGoronsky.com. I'm actually in my choir uh, classroom right here. I have the projector on behind me. If you are a choir director, band director, orchestra director, general music teacher, and you're looking for a creative way to display content in your room, I want to show you a really cool way that you can use your iPad or even your phone to display content anywhere you are in your room. So definitely stay tuned for this video. Check it out. All right, so let's walk through the setup. I have my iPad Pro here, and my Apple Pencil as well, but I want to show you how you can project this sheet music or anything from your iPad or your phone onto your board in your classroom. Now this is a regular whiteboard. This is not a smart board. This is just a regular whiteboard that's connected to a projector that you have here. But what I have, and you can see it's running here, is this is an Apple TV. It's actually an older Apple TV that I had at home, and I have this Apple TV that is connected through up into this projector here. Now the, the wiring I did myself, but you could have in like an IT person or I'm sure set this up. All it, all it needs is I have the power cable and an HDMI cable. So I have the HDMI out from the Apple TV that is running up into this projector. So I have the Apple TV set up onto here. Another thing that I have is the Apple TV is connected to my class's Wi-Fi. Now what that's going to enable me to do is on my iPad here, I'm gonna swipe down and I'm going to select to mirror my device. And I'm gonna notice the Apple TV is coming up. I'm gonna select that. And now as it's loading, it is going to pop up here. Now I am directly mirroring my iPad onto this projector. I do this pretty much every single class and I love it. Here's why. So on, I'm using an app uh, called Fourscore. Um, and if you've never seen uh, Fourscore before, this is the Fourscore app. I think it's, or at least when I bought it, it was like five bucks. I think it's a little more now. It is totally worth it. I use this for pretty much all of my sheet music here. Now I have this Fourscore projected up here. And what I love about it is now I can zoom in on uh, whatever part of music I want. And now look at that. It's zooming in on, uh, you know, on, on the view on the board. Now, the, probably the biggest thing that I love about using my iPad Pro in particular, I love the fact that it's, it's pretty close to like an eight and a half by 11. This is the 12.9 iPad Pro. And I'll, I'll include links to um, all of this. In my opinion, this is probably the best um, I, iPad to use in the classroom. Um, just, it's the perfect size. Like if I have a, another piece of sheet music here, you can see how close it is in size to an actual piece of sheet music. So it just, it really feels like that perfect size. I love that it's lightweight and I use it with my Apple Pencil all the time. So, but again, I can zoom in on any different part. So if we're going over a specific part here, now it's zoomed in for the class. Now, one drawback of using the Apple TV setup is the, the ratio is a little, it's slightly off compared to most projectors. And one way that I go around this is I have this remote here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and I want to see if you could see this. Look, I just zoomed in. I hit the zoom button once and let me zoom out just to show you. So I'm zooming out and I'm going to zoom in. Sometimes I will zoom in even twice just so it fills up that whole screen. This is it not zoomed in and that's it zoomed in once. And you can see it makes a big difference because the ratio of the Apple TV, the aspect ratio is slightly different to uh, most projectors. So I zoom in once and it, it basically gives me uh, just a fantastic screen quality. And now what I love about this setup, absolutely love about this setup. So let's say I have, you know, my keyboard here, I'm accompanying the class, I'm going over music, but because my iPad is mirrored wirelessly, that means when I'm playing from my keyboard here, anything that I do over here, right? If I'm going through page turns as I'm playing, it's being mirrored to the class. So if I have a question, oh, okay, you know what? I see that there's an accidental there in the baritone part. Let's zoom in on that. And it zooms in here. This is such a game changer. I feel like if every music teacher knew about the setup, I think every music teacher would, would be using it. If you're a band director, or orchestra director, it's the same principle. If you have your score up in four score, it's just a fantastic way to mirror to your whole classroom. Another thing that I love about this is no matter where I am in my class, I can move around now. So if I have, let's say I'm mirroring this on my phone, or if I'm mirroring this, um, you know, I, I love to use three minute theory and I'll include a link below for this. I can mirror my three minute theory content onto this board. So if I'm playing one of three minute theories videos, I can pause it. 
I can immediately pause it wherever I am in the class. So that enables me to move around the entire class, uh, you know, being able to monitor classroom participation, all of that. So one more time, here's a quick review. I have the Apple TV that's connected via HDMI. There's the power plug, which is connected to the smart, uh, <laughs> sorry, this is not a smart board, just connected, but you could connect it to a smart board. This is connected through HDMI into the projector. Um, and then I'm wirelessly mirroring my iPad. So you could mirror pretty much any iOS device. You could even mirror your, um, your laptop as well. I'm mirroring uh, the Apple TV. Both of these, both the iPad and the Apple TV are connected to the Wi-Fi in, in, uh, in my classroom. So those are really the only specifications you need. I'm gonna include a link below to this specific iPad. I'm gonna include a link below uh, to the Apple TV that I use. Um, I don't, you know what, maybe I'll even include a link below to the Apple Pencil, which I love to use, because as I'm going through you know, music, if I wanna make a certain annotation, especially in Fourscore, I could just, you know, if I wanna circle a part here, I could just immediately draw that in. I could change the colors that I'm using. If you've never used Fourscore, you gotta check it out. Uh, but this is such an awesome setup. If you're a music teacher, it can work for pretty much any, any context. Um, so definitely check it out. I'll include links below. Thanks for watching.